2020 has been a crazy year for everyone. I mean, just look at my hair and beard. It's been rough for everyone. But we managed to keep making content, which we hope helped you guys through some of those rough patches. It was a big year for the channel. With over 50 videos, cracking over 10 million subscribers, we finally moved out of my garage into this huge facility. We built some incredible things, received a world record, and today we're excited to announce the launch of our online shop at hacksmith.store. Check it out after watching our 2020 Rewind compilation. Enjoy. All right, enough talking about it. Let's show you the new shop. We painted the ceilings and the walls white. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce we've broken ground on what will become the world's first real life Stark Industries. And just like Edith, you can actually talk to Alexa. Alexa, initiate drone strike. Do you feel kind of like Tony Stark bringing this never before really seen technology to investors and being like, check this out. You love Batman. Let's make some batarangs. Three, two, one, go. Uh, how did you hit that? It is a rocket powered titanium batarang. Go break more stuff. We're making the rocket bat from Fallout. We're doing an awesome collaboration with some of the other great maker channels on YouTube. One for Colin Furs, one for Kids Invent Stuff, one for Look Mom No Computer, and of course, one for Stephanie Explains All. It's a good thing we moved into this new facility, because I don't think we would have actually been able to build the power loader in that garage. How hard would it be to build a half-scale version of the Cybertruck? Look at this. That's five. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He died. <laughs> Why did we do that? All right, it works. <laughs> this thing drifts like nothing. We did that by making it half the height, half the width, and half the length of a standard F-150, all while having greater capabilities and functionality than a full-size truck. Three, two, one, go! We've had a ton of fun building this half-scale Cybertruck. There's still so much more that we could upgrade. Bogdan's finished installing the laser into our Cybertruck, officially bringing it into the 21st century. It's by far one of our most favorite projects and one of the ones we're most proud of. And we couldn't have done it without the entire team and several volunteers who came out and helped us during the build. Big thank you to you guys for helping with this project. We probably couldn't have done it without you. All right, let's start loading her up. Yeah, look at that strike. All right, so we've got all the pieces we need to start this server rebuild. Should we get started? Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's just our IT guy. Hold the light. As you know, we're trying to uh, make this place a little more Stark Industries. So we've actually gone ahead and gotten all the pieces together to make a really fancy door for the server room, complete with a built-in touch screen to make sure everything's up and running. Please tell me it's gonna have voice recognition. It is. Please tell me it'll have facial recognition. It might. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can recharge your one wheel at an EV charge station. And I think it's working, charging. <laughs> It is now official. Canada has its first confirmed case of the new strain of coronavirus.
The world is a little weird right now with all the lockdowns and this big pandemic going on. But Bogdan and I chose to self-isolate here together in the shop so we can keep making projects to make videos for you guys to watch while you stay at home. This wouldn't be a Hacksmith test video if we didn't test our project to the absolute limit. We've got a scrap car here and I'm going to give it a summer. I am victorious! It's time to make a new set of Wolverine claws. But this time, we're going old school and making bone claws. Me and Bogdan are gonna have a one day build off to motorize these drift trikes and then have a race. In this episode of Make It Real, we're building Predator's heat vision and shoulder mounted laser cannon. And Josh, where is everybody? What the? Five men. One night, one predator, who will survive. <laughs> Luckily, Charles is back for another engineering co-op term, so I've tasked him with building me a prototype Crisis exoskeleton arm. But I'm sure you're wondering, can it run Crisis? No. No, of course it can't run Crisis. It's just a blank circuit board. I'm worthy. In the original test, I used cinder blocks that weighed approximately 171 and a half pounds, or about 77 kilograms. Let's prove it once and for all, and use real Olympic weights. Like nothing at all. We decided to build the Civil Warrior Shield, a Captain America shield complete with an arc reactor built right into the center. We need to do an amazing test. So we've set up this awesome obstacle course for me to run through and really put the shield through its paces. Shield. Hey Charles, got a minute? We gotta get you started on your next big project. Basically, I'm looking to have something that can help, you know, raise the spirits around the shop. I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross and Pulp Fiction lately, so try and work that in. To meet James' impossible demands, I'm gonna be making Screaming Gun from Borderlands 2. This thing looks awesome. James is gonna be stoked. Hack Elite. This is the Hack Screaming Gun, the most verbally abusive blaster from Hack. It's Hack or Smithin'. I'm gonna build a jet canoe. You need two things, a jet and a canoe. I got both, let's get started. And now we know without a doubt what we're going to use for the power load. We're gonna use treads. Wait. Just kidding. We actually decided on tank treads a long time ago. I don't think these are the tracks we're looking for. What a weird tank, it doesn't have treads. That's perfect! Hey guys, I'm here at an undisclosed training test site with Jonathan Tibbet, the co-founder and chief test pilot of the Prosthesis Racing Mech. We have liftoff! Oh, this isn't bad at all! Alright, I think we're gonna walk this back to Ontario. <laughs> Maybe not. But you know someone who probably never gets heat stroke? Aquaman. I tried commanding the seas, but that didn't work. I never could do a kickflip back in the day. I wonder if I can do one now. Go skater, James. Now the fun part. I need to figure out how to make this thing kickflip. Ah! 
I've got it. Springs. Hey, Hacksmith, do a kickflip. My first kickflip at age 30. We built the junk jet from Fallout to launch anything you can fit down the barrel. All right, it's done. Yeah! Yes! Let's get some more junk. <laughs> this is so much fun. On this episode of Make It Real, we're making Morningstar's weapon for Marvel's Contest of Champions. Let's get the whole team involved. That took a while. Oh. The most dangerous test montages we've ever filmed here at Hexman Industries, and that is saying something if you're familiar with the channel. Everyone wishes Iron Man was real, but for some reason, no eccentric billionaires have stepped forwards. I'm looking at you, Elon. Now, I'm no billionaire but I am eccentric. So on this episode of Make It Real, I'm gonna be building Silver Surfer's Surfboard. Thanks to today's technology, we have way more power. That means this motor is almost equivalent to this motorcycle. That's crazy. Adjust the power dial slightly. There we go. Just give it a bit longer and she's going to be glowing. Holy crap. So listen, I know you guys are used to James introducing these videos, but we've got a bit of a problem. James has gone mad with power. guys, this is totally unsafe. This madness! Never! You're like a brother to me! Kylo Ren has a badass lightsaber. We've actually been developing our own Kylo Ren lightsaber behind the scenes for well over the past year. Don't burn your hand off. <laughs> Who do I look like, Anakin? And now that, oh. Man, I thought the heat off the old proto sabers was a lot, but like, whoo. Hello there. We've just made the world's first retractable plasma-based lightsaber. How are we gonna power this? Is that not a lightsaber? We did it, the world's first retractable plasma-based lightsaber.
We are through. Quarter inch steel plate. Let's see what we can do to a car. Yeah! Look at that perfect hole. Yeah, the lightsaber did quite a bit of damage. We got a safe. We're gonna break into it. Okay. You can use anything you can find in the shop. It's the play button. YouTube must have sent us a safe. Wait, th there's no way YouTube sent us an entire safe. It was me all along. It's 3 a.m. so no one's here. I'm in a borrowed truck and I've got a safe in the back. Now I get to do something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Cooking with a Hacksmith. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a fresh diamond 10 million subscriber play button. And finally, a dash of lemon. I think it's done. That's good, because I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of this cooking show. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna try heating it from the back so we can see if we can get that diamond play button. Pop. Oh my god! Did not mean to do that. For this Halloween, I'm gonna engulf my head in flames and become Ghost Rider. We don't think the Hacksmith knows how to tie his own shoes. So we set out to design a pair of self-lacing shoes from Back to the Future. We've noticed that you don't know how to tie your own shoes. They're self-lacing shoes! Hacksmith Industries is proud to present the self-lacing shoe. The plasma-based retractable lightsaber was a revolution. But instead of pursuing that further, we decided to devote all of our time and resources to solving a problem most have tackled by age five. We made Dummy the fire extinguishing robot from Iron Man, which means we're one step closer to becoming a star in real life. <laughs> hey, this is the Imolent MS-18, the world's brightest flashlight that you can buy. And this is our flashlight. Turn the light on, I can't see a thing. Turn on the light? Oh, oh that's hot! Oh. One, two, three, four. Whoa! What do you think? High beams? High beams. We're building a hoverboard from Back to the Future that actually hovers. I had a dream years ago to build the world's first real power loader from the movie Aliens. There's nothing stopping us from building it. Sounds like the 239 is perfect for our application. Should be a winner. What do you say, let's pack it up? Let's get her going. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our 2020 Rewind compilation. We made a lot of projects. Huge thank you to all our subscribers, both old and new. We couldn't have done it without you. Let's see what 2021 has in store for us. Speaking of stores, check out hacksmith.store. I'm super excited to launch this, so make sure you sign up for our newsletter as we'll be releasing new products every few months. Keep an eye out for Hacksmith Originals and limited product releases. Thanks for watching.